guys, I am on my balcony. Um, can you see? This is so bad. You can you see the Thames over there? I just thought I would make a video outside because it sort of stopped raining for about two seconds in London, but hold my breath and it'll probably rain again through this video. Um, I just wanted to make this video because, um, because I'm happy and because life does not get as good as it is now and I'm just so grateful. A year ago I was uh, diagnosed with cancer for the first time and I'll never forget that phone call. I don't think anybody that gets diagnosed with cancer forgets that phone call of um, telling you you have cancer and as soon as you hear the word cancer the world shuts down everything goes silent and you're in your head and you're in shock and you're scared and all this stuff that you didn't think would come to the surface comes to the surface and it was just such a scary time and so I made a video I made a video so I could keep my friends updated and I made a video to help anybody out there that was interested in going on this journey with me because I couldn't find any videos and I figured well I'm gonna make one myself um, and I did and I could not I could not I cannot believe the impact it's had and the inspiring impact it's had I have people making amazing websites for cervical cancer and using my videos I have people touring America doing talks on cervical cancer and using my videos as um, examples of what it's like to really go through it like right in the trenches when I was going through chemo and radiation and feeling so sick um, and when you go through cancer and you're lucky enough to come out the other side and I understand that not everyone is lucky to come out the other side you can't help but shift your perspective about everything um, I'd always been into sort of spirituality and about um, how to live the best life possible and to come from a place of love um, but my god did that get heightened to a new level and I just started to understand the world and the universe that we live in in such different ways um, there are no accidents things really do happen for a reason and and things really do turn out the way they're supposed to um, my life today is vastly different um, I'm a stronger person I'm a happier person. I have so much gratitude every day when I wake up. People always ask me, oh, how are you so, what makes, um, what keeps you positive? What keeps you going in the morning? And it's nothing really in particular. It's just that I get out of bed and I choose to focus my mind most of the time on that I'm happy. I, you know, life is okay. Life is good. Um, you know, you're not going to be happy all the time. Life sort of goes like this, your emotion goes in waves, but it goes down a little bit and it comes up and it's not about um, being, finding something that makes you happy. I mean, things that can help make you happy, but um, I just have so much gratitude from where I am and my heart is so open and so full and, and um, I think that really helps with letting good things come in. Um, I was so close last year and it was a result of what I was going through and a marriage that was falling apart and really evaluating what my role was in my own life um, and none of that was very positive positive. and today I'm in London and I have this amazing job that I love and I got into my master's program I'm so excited I did that and that's a goal that I've always wanted to do and I did that and um, I have so much more love for myself and the people that are close to me than I ever thought were poss was possible and things haven't changed in the world very much. Um, I just find that my place in the world has changed and my relationship with myself and my friends are just so much stronger and deeper and just more open. Like, I don't care about looking great all the time or um, having to keep up appearances, and which I did a lot in my marriage. Um, I There's so much strength and courage that comes with being able to be open about who you are and if you're having a bad day or if you're just so happy about something or talking to somebody about those big issues that you might have um, I do that so much more now and I do it freely because I have so much love for myself and the world around me that I am so happy to be in um, life is not how I thought it would turn out it's a different kind of life but I am at a point right now where I would do it all over again because it's so much more rewarding when you can tune in to your own life and um, really understand the order of 
things and that um, it all really does work out. And I've been given so many gifts um, this last year and I am so grateful for each and every one of them. And I'm grateful for each and every one of you for your support and your love and your messages and the messages of um, hope and the messages that tell me about your own journeys and that you are brave enough to open up to me and tell me all about them. I love your email, so always, always write to me whenever you need to, and I promise I will respond. Um, but yeah, it's a special weekend, and I wanted to say hello to all you guys and just let you know that you guys have been with me, some of you since day one, and look where we are today. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty crazy. Life is crazy, um, but it's so good. And I'm sending lots of love to you that if you're starting this journey or you're in the middle of this journey. Um, and I just want you to just accept the love that I give you. And, um, you know, it's, it's shit. It, it's a shit thing to have to go through. But it will all be okay, I promise. Um, yeah, I'm just sending you all lots and lots of love, and um, I hope the rain holds off a little bit longer. Bye-bye.